everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Man, we are back again doing another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome Minecraft Swamp House. Super inspired by the recent Minecraft update that's coming, 119, the wild update where they're going to be adding frogs, mud, mangrove trees. So it's super inspired by that. But let's build this thing right now, block for block. Let's go. And here we go with the block palette. So the main foundation is going to be out of dark oak logs. And we're going to be bringing the whole dark oak family along. Also a little bit of oak, a little bit of oak trapdoors. The whole spruce family is coming also. For the roof is going to be a combination of the deep slate tiles and also some waxed weathered copper slabs. But if you don't have these available, you can use oak, the warped planks, or even the dark prismarine. But you can pretty much replace this with anything if you don't have these available in mass quantity. Also for a little bit of texturing on the second floor, we're going to be bringing some acacia wood some andesite some tough block and also some mossy and a couple other things along the way and here we go with the dimensions wherever you see a log place one down we have the spacers in between with wool so find yourself a nice little spot here in the swamp and we're gonna get this started right now now before you get it started just make sure your logs on all of these are at least one level above the water line just like this just to make sure you have it all in place i'm gonna get it started right here in the front i'm gonna go ahead and start on the lower level right here uh just with a slab on this corner slab on this corner and a trap door in the middle it's gonna be like pretty much the outline we're gonna have all the way around it's gonna be slab slab trap door in between all the logs just for this one we're gonna go back another one two and three we're gonna go three on this side and then three over here on this end. We're gonna get rid of these. These are just little placeholder blocks. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So trap door, slab, slab. We're gonna do again on this side, trap door, slab, and a slab. Over here, we're gonna take it up one level up with the slab, just like that. Be a little step up to get up to this section. This will be like your little docking area. And then right at the top, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go three all the way down and just gonna get rid of those bits. Make sure those uh, slabs are on the side and the trap door in the middle. Now I'm just gonna get rid of all this wool real quick. Now that the wool is all out of the way, let's get the rest of this done. So I'm gonna go right at this level. It's gonna be slab, slab, and a trap door. And it's a gap of three in between each. It's easy once you get it all set up. It's gonna be slab, slab, trap door. So we're gonna go all the way around right on the edges and make sure this is all in place. This just gives you a little bit more detail here on the outside. This you can have, uh, so it's not just one big line of slabs. It looks pretty cool. So once we have this all the way around, we're gonna get to the front. And now in the front, I'll show you what to do. But first off, let's finish off this little bits here. So slabs all the way around, just like this, perfect. And then we have the outline all set up right here and it should be looking like this for now and then all we have to do now is just fill in the rest here with slabs now once we filled everything out with slabs we're going to start lifting up some of these logs so this front porch is just going to go up right here just one each all the way down just like that now we're going to start lifting up the house which is this whole back side we're going to lift all these logs up by five from this main line right here and then once we have that all set up you're done at that point. Let's do cross beams on the top levels here, connecting all of these up together all the way around. And then once we have all those cross beams in place, let's place some pop out logs here on the top level of the dark oak going all the way around. From here, we're gonna be placing some upside down stairs in between both these logs. And then also underneath the little pop out logs we just placed, we're gonna do this all the way around. And then once you have all of these upside down stairs placed, it should look like this. And then the next thing, we're going to be placing some of these dark oak trap doors in the little gaps right in between all the upside down stairs, just like this. Now, before we go on the inside, let's finish off this front area over here. So we're just going to be placing some dark oak slabs on top of every one of these logs right here. And then this next part is going to be a little expensive. I'm going to do it because it looks the coolest. If you have it available, do it. If not, I'll be using some, uh, just some fences like this and a fence gate in the middle but if you want to make it look really really cool get some lecterns place them on the inside like this with a little red bit facing inwards and just place them right here on the sides going all the way down just like that and then place some of these uh, spruce trap doors on the top bits of each lectern that we just placed it looks really really awesome it looks like a little bit of a railing going down but if you don't have these again you can just use fences fence gates going down and it could be any color wood now for extra bits of details, if you grab some composters and we replace that bottom log right here on the top of this platform, it gives you a nice little bit of detail here on the bottom end. So it's not just one big piece of just dark oak log. So if you do that all the way down, it looks really, really nice. And we can also do it on the top bits of these bits right there. And then if you wanna keep it consistent, you can also do it here on the top bits on that. So it has this look to it. 
all the way down. And now for extra details, you can place some trap doors here on the bottom bit underneath that compost. So you don't do it on this one because we're going to be placing some ladders there later so you can get up and down from that spot. But from right here, place some of these spruce trap doors underneath all of these composters. Now the details keep coming. We're going to grab some of these same spruce trap doors and we're going to place them underneath every one of these stairs here underneath the logs just place them on the outside bits because then we're going to start placing the walls on the inside and at the end it should look like this all the way around with the trap doors in place now for the next section i'm going to go on the inside we're going to recess this in i'm going to be using some of these stripped spruce logs with a mix of the spruce planks and we're going to go all the way around with this but for right now to make it easy i'm just going to grab the same spruce right here and then i'm going to take it all the way to this line right above that uh cross beam we placed and we're going to go ahead and put this all the way around but for right now should look like that then i'm going to come back in and just pepper in a little bit of the plank in random spots some of these are going to be covered up by the log but it's fine you're going to just go ahead and go randomly we're going to add windows and all the other details after but for right now just just like this just randomly scatter some planks just to make it look a little bit more broken like it's been here a long time a little bit more ruined so it should look something like this from the inside like that just eyeballing it just randomly and then let's go on the outside let's see what that looks like there we go so we got this little bit of plankage right there let's add some windows and doors for the door i'm gonna go right in here let's knock down these three i'm gonna place a little upside down stair of spruce right there i'm gonna add a window here so knock those two down and i'm gonna add a window here knock those two now i'm also gonna jump back here on the other side i'm gonna add a window here here and here I'm not going to add any windows though on these sides on both of those front and back ends for the window itself i'm going to use some oak trap doors like this you can use glass or fences you can use anything you want for me i'm going to use these lovely trap doors this next bit's going to be a little expensive as well you don't have to use these campfire blocks if you don't have them available you can use the fence fence gate trick as well on this part but for me i'm going to use it it's going to look really really nice going down like this and then just extinguish these it has this nice little bit of an overhang little awning look to it and i'm going to put it on top of every one of these little sections in between the pop-out logs like so i'm going to do this all the way down and so far everything is mirrored so it's easy to follow just go ahead and just repeat that all the way down and it should look like this now for this next section let's start lifting up more logs so we're going to go up five again on this section here one two and three so let's go take it all the way up by five right over here going down like so this part here is the front of the house right so this was only going to go up by two this is going to go up by two and then up by two right here I'm going to turn this corner and repeat that over here. So one, two, three, four, and five, five on this bit, then five on this bit. And then finishing off on this side, we're going to go also five from there. I'm going to go ahead and run right in the middle here. I'm going to do a little cross beam going all the way down, connecting these two five bits there. And then I'm just going to connect this section here with a cross beam, this section here with a cross beam. And then this helps us out so we can place blocks on top of it. This with a cross beam. And then this one also as well, place a cross beam going down. So it should have this look to it here. And then I'm going to go right in the middle and also place another one up by five right there. So we have this look to it. Now jumping over here, this is going to be a little bit of a porch area. So for this one, I'm just going to be placing some of our spruce planks covering this up, going all the way down just like that. And then over here, just the mirror we did down there, I'm going to be placing lecterns three at a time here in between the beams trap doors in the little gaps in between going down like so and then make sure that's all covered up and again if you don't have that available you can use fences and fence gates uh, to cover that up same thing we did down there i'm going to do it up here as well so i'm going to replace this bottom bit with a composter going all the way down and this is pretty much just going to mirror what we did at the bottom i'm going to place it right at that bottom bit and then all the way down here going like so now for this next bit if you don't have these blocks available you can go with like a stone cobble uh, maybe even some mossy cobble looks for me i'm going to go ahead and do this kind of gradient here so it mixes well together so i'm going to go a little bit uh, of this acacia just like this random going down like so going around like this a little bit of an up and down look to it so it looks cool from the outside going around going like this take it down and it doesn't have to be exactly how i have it pretty much how we did the bottom just random gradients like this but something like that looks pretty cool then next up i'm going to grab some of the tough block and i'm going to go up with another little bit of a gradient like this going up to the side even some of these you might not even see you're going to knock some of these out for windows but just to get that nice look to it so it's just kind of randomized so something like that next i'm going to go in with a little bit of the uh, andesite going around like so and then once we have this in place i'm going to come back in here and then i'm going to start giving it a little bit of uh, just a mossy cobble here on the top bits 
went down like this. And when we finish this off, we're going to go on the outside and eyeball it. If something we want to change, we can change it right away. So that looks actually really, really good. Going down. Yeah, that looks nice. And we're going to add a little bit of lichen and stuff like that. Uh, maybe this one can go a little lower just to break that up a little more. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe one more down there. There we go. That looks awesome. So something like that. Then we're going to cross beam the top, just like we did on the other side on the bottom. And this cross beam is going to go all the way on the top level. After we get these cross beams in place, we're going to do exactly what we did last time. We're going to bring in our stairs right here and our trap doors. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do upside down stairs just like that trap doors in the little gaps and then we're going to do the same thing all the way down so we're going to go ahead and do it this side we're going to add our trap doors in between jumping over here same thing upside down stairs and our trap doors in between one more time right here on this bit and then the trap doors in the little gaps in between now for the back of the house and also for the front of the house we're going to do the pop-out logs we're not going to do it on the sides here so just like that and then our upside down stairs in between is perfect. Then let's grab our spruce trap doors and we're going to put it in the same spots that we did on the bottom. Just like that, going all the way down. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that all the way around this side. We're also going to be putting it on this little bit right here. And it's going to go all the way down just like this. Keep going till we get all the way around. Once we have these in place, I'm going to show you what to do next. Because we're going to get closer now to getting that roof done. So just like that. Looks perfect. For these side bits, we're going to place upside down stairs, but no pop out logs. For this side, it's the front, just like the other one. We're going to place the upside down stairs, and this, yes, gets the pop out logs. This is the front of the house. We're also going to continue with the stairs here, going down, but no pop outs, just like so. I'm going to place a door. Let's place a door right over here, and I'm going to place a window on this side. Also, going to place a little upside down stair here of our andesite. For the window, trap doors of oak like we have downstairs. And then I'm going to be placing windows on all of these here. So then add our trap doors for our window. We're going to keep going on this way. I'm going to break this bit, break that bit, place our trap doors as well. And then last but not least, we got this side, knock these two down. And then we're going to be placing our oak trap doors just like that. Now for this front part, we're going to grab our campfire blocks. We're going to place it on the top bit just like that and then extinguish those. And this is for the front. And we're also going to go to the back side of the house and place it on this side. So this gonna go all the way down just like that extinguish these just like so now it's time to work on the roof so for this one i'm going to be grabbing our deep slate tiles and we're going to go right from this edge and we're going to take it all the way down just like that make sure that's overhanged then i'm going to go right underneath it here i'm going to grab some of this dark oak trap doors and we're going to line the bottom in just like that to give it a nice little look let's jump over here on this side and repeat it so take it all the way down with the deep slate tile Make sure it goes right to there and then trap doors in the bottom bits underneath the stairs we just placed. Now to work on the roof, I'm going to place a stair here. Let's place a stair on this side, upside down stairs on both. And then from here, I'm going to just grab slabs. I'm going to be placing them on top of the stairs and then double slab all the way in the middle till we get to the center, which should end perfectly like that. Then we're going to jump back over here on this side and repeat it. So a stair here, I'm going to place a stair on this side, upside downs on both and then slabs one on top of each stair and then double slab till we get to the center bit which should lead us right to there now in between here we're going to be adding some of our weathered stairs right here on the bottom the weathered copper that looks really cool if you don't have these available you can use other alternatives you don't have to use these here we're going to go with slabs going all the way down right here we're going to go with more slabs going all the way down right on this side we're going to cap this off right here with one more level of copper and then on the top i'm going to grab the dark tiles and take them all the way down so it should look like this now all we got to do is just repeat it over here now to fill this part in the middle out we have a couple options the one i like the most is this little tutor block section here so we're going to go actually on the inside level Right over here, I'm going to be placing an oak log, skip one, oak log, skip one, oak log, and another one on this side. Then some strip dark oak right here. We place one, two, and then one. From the inside to cover this up, I'm just going to do something really super simple. I'm going to take this up here, just the cobble. You can mix it in with some of the andesite so it's textured. You can do the same thing pretty much over here on this side. And then we're going to just cover up this part with a copper, a copper, another one here, one on this side, and some of the tile right there on the inside part just to cover that little gap. Now we just have to repeat this thing over here on that side. Now from this side, it's going to look a little different because we have it kind of tucked back away, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to give this an extra bit of trim. So let's put one copper here, one on this side, one over here, and then give it one extra layer there on the bottom. And then for the dark right here, tile block, we have this look. So we have the recessed in look from here 
going all the way down it looks nice let's go back over here on this side and do the same thing now jumping back over here on the balcony we're gonna grab this deep slate tile wall we're gonna go up by two on all of these and then we're gonna grab a campfire block place it on top and then take it all the way down just like this and this is gonna go from front to back just make sure it just goes just connected to where this wall is so we don't go overhanging connecting to that and then just extinguish all of these. If you don't have this many campfires available, you can also use slabs or uh, trap doors. Probably a spruce will look the best. And then from here, I'm gonna grab some of our spruce fence gates and just give a little lining there on the bottom, just like that. Now for the final pieces of details, we're gonna be placing some fences here on the corner bits and hang some lanterns. Also place some buttons on all these exposed log pieces that you see over here. Other things you could do is grab some lichen and just place these randomly here on the top bits and just like that we have the house complete details all the way around you can even keep going adding more things like right here in the little gaps in the little spaces you can maybe throw in a little bit of uh just some flowering azaleas you can break some of these off too and just maybe take them down so don't be afraid to break some of these off it's pretty cool if you want to add just a little bit more detail like something like this can kind of go through and underneath it just adds a little bit more to it you can even add some random candles in certain spots right here maybe like unlit or lit uh we can even add some of these flower pots in random places going down like so add stuff to it you know flowering azaleas anything you want on there be some mushrooms on some of these that's fine you can even add some vines here to go along with uh, all the lichen in certain spots you can even put some of that uh, vine action over here on top maybe even draping down in front of the bushes which adds even more details you can keep adding as many things as you want as far as the house though is complete we just have to put a door I'm gonna go with a dark oak door we can go with any door I'm gonna put one right here and then also one right there now to set up this interior first step i want to do a little bit of a divider right here so let's grab the same stripped spruce that we have on this side take it all the way up just to give you the same look to it that we did before and then grab some of the planks just come down here and just randomly add that bit i'm thinking a door right here would be perfect we can get rid of that and then maybe put a little upside down stair right there so we have a way in to get to this side you can grab any door I'm going with dark oak and we have this back end right here now for the front i'm going to put a kitchen but before we do that i want to do a way to get up here to the top i'm going to go with a simple ladder right here in the middle and just take this all the way up right to there let's actually get rid of that bit i'm going to grab the same beams right here of dark oak let's take that down on this side and let's take this one down over here and then i'm going to place a trap door right on this end and then i'm going to place a trap door on the edges right here just so they all kind of look similar just like that and then it's just slabs of our spruce in between right over here jumping back over here let's work on this little kitchen really super simple i'm gonna put a furnace gonna put it on this middle section i'm gonna drop a cauldron one on each side barrels one on each side here and then i'm gonna go with barrels here on the top level all the way down like so grab some of the same trap doors i'm gonna place one on every other one and then slabs in between just like that got some brewing stands place one on each side right here so it's a little bit of a brewing station as well and i'm just gonna go ahead and just throw a little cake in the middle why not up here on the top i'm gonna grab a lantern i'm gonna put one on each side right there so we can light this place up and then over here, we're going to do a little bit of a seating area. I'm going to go with two stairs. We have dark oak. I'm going to go with two on this side. And I'm going to grab the beehive block. I haven't used this in a while. So I'm going to use this as a, a little bit of a table right there in the center. Then over here, I'm going to grab a flower pot. And let's throw in a little pressure plate there on the side. For this little edge here, I'm just going to grab a composter. I'm going to put it right in the center and then lift up some bush going up one and two. And we have this little front area here. Let's put a little painting right in the center. That looks great. And then over here, I'm going to put an armor stand. And I'm going to place a uh, little hat on top, little hat rack right over there. Perfect. Above the door, I'm going to grab a glowing item frame and I'm going to throw a clock there on top. And this part's pretty much done. You can even add a little bit of carpet maybe if you wanted to, but uh, it's up to you guys. It's not some green carpet. Uh, let's actually mix a little bit of the green carpet and a little bit of the moss, which looks pretty cool. Right here, kind of looks a little overgrown. There it is. That looks really nice. You can cover the whole thing right here in the bottom. Now, jumping over here, I'm thinking bedroom. So right here in the back, I'm going to go with a log of our oak going down sideways like that. I'm going to place a bed right here in the middle. A little spruce trap door on the edge right here. The top, I'm going to place a lantern on one side, flower pot. Throw an azalea in that thing, why not? On the top, I'm going to put some barrels for storage. Let's put a trap door on each side and a slab in the middle. Jumping back over here, let's place some more barrels going up to the top like so. Put a slab here on the side. Maybe another flower pot right there. It's a little occasion there. I don't even know. That looks good. 
And just for extra decoration, let's throw like a little grindstone there at the top, and then maybe just some candles here on the top bit with uh, that lit up. Looks like a fire hazard, but it's not, don't worry. And then maybe over here, just a little painting in the center. Let's see, let's get the other one. And a little painting right there in the center. This is perfect. We can also add the same carpet that we have over here if we wanted to, just a little bit of the mix right there of the moss and of uh, the uh, carpet. Now for this top area, I'm thinking a big storage room would be pretty cool. You can even add maybe like a little enchanting station as well, but I'm just gonna go for storage. We could cover up these windows, so it's no big deal. I'm gonna take this pretty much all the way here to the top and then just go all the way down the line with it. Now that the chests are in place, we could do a little workstation on this side. Just make sure you don't cover up that trapdoor to get to the top. But over here we could put uh, maybe just a crafting bench, maybe a stair sideways like that. We'll put a composter on this side, maybe throw a little bit of bush action there. This one can get a uh, stone cutter and a grindstone here. Uh, and then we can do a little bit of a shelving unit on this side. So maybe just some slabs going down every other one. Grab a trapdoor, place those on this bit. Maybe we can add a little lighting up here as well. Uh, and flower pots, an extra chest, why not? Maybe a blue orchid and a flowering azalea. And we got ourselves our finished build. This looks awesome. And now that the house is completely done, in honor of the wild update coming up, let's add some really cool custom mangrove-like trees around the area. <laughs> let's go. And just like that, the swamp is looking a lot better with these modified mangrove trees. I'm so excited right now for the wild update that we finally get the swamp. We've been wanting for a very long time. Imagine this boat right here has a little chest in it. We have a little frog bouncing around over here. Tadpoles swimming. Oh, this is going to be awesome. But then also, look, check this out. Look at these little cattails. Can we get cattails now that uh, I added these? Let's just get the real ones instead of the ones with the candles and the stained glass. But <laughs> this is it. <laughs> what do you guys think? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these wild update inspired builds. There's a bunch of other things that we need to get to. Maybe some underground builds too. Oh, some deep dark preparation we need it but for right now i'm out of here thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed catch you on the next one goodbye